me show you a very cool rhythmic technique that you can use for fingerstyle guitar. And this works very well when you're playing chords. It's something that you hear a lot of great jazz piano players use. And I learned this from watching and listening to uh, one of my favorite guitarists, Richard Smith. He uses this technique in a lot of cool ways. And so can you. So let me show you how to play the pattern. It sounds very complex, but if you take it slowly, you learn the essential pattern and you practice it, I think that just about anybody out there who plays fingerstyle can get this pattern down. So I'm going to use a G major 7th for this example. G, B, D, and F sharp on the top four strings. Uh, in this first video, I'm going to show you the basic pattern. And it works especially well when you have adjacent strings, like these top four adjacent strings. So the picking hand, which is really important here, you're going to have the thumb on the fourth string, index finger on the third string, middle finger on the second string, and ring finger up on the first string. So let's take a look at the pattern deconstructed at a time. You're going to play a pinch, is what I would call it, meaning thumb, index, middle, ring, all at the same time. Then we're going to have sort of a descending arpeggio or roll, which is the ring finger, middle finger, index finger, thumb, followed by the ring finger once again. One more time, deconstructed out of time. That's the pattern. It's a two beat pattern and you want to just work on getting the correct fingering going first with your picking hand. Now when we put this in time, here's what's going to happen. The pinch is happening on the downbeat. And then we're going to have four 32nd notes, which are going to happen really quickly, being the ring, middle, index, thumb. Those are going to be 32nd notes on the upbeat, followed by the ring finger on the downbeat again. So as I said, it's a two beat pattern that you can plug in all over the place. Uh, you don't have to loop it over and over and over like I did in the little introduction progression. You might just use it once over two beats within a tune somewhere. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put on the metronome at 60 beats a minute and we're just going to vamp and loop on that two beat pattern. But you might want to start first, let's say at 20 beats a minute or 30 beats a minute and work your way up to this. Eventually you can go even faster, of course, but here it is at 60 beats a minute. We're just going to loop it and vamp it together. Two, three, four. the pattern sounds like 60 beats a minute and let's go ahead now and plug it into a progression this would be sort of the next exercise I would suggest to do so we're gonna take a minor 251 in B minor so that's gonna be a B minor 7 we're gonna do the pattern twice there that will give us one bar then we're going to go to a C sharp minor 7 flat 5 we're gonna do the pattern twice there which is one more bar and then an F sharp 7 flat 13. Again, do the pattern twice on that chord. And then we're going to finish up with a B minor 7 once again. So that will give us four bars. And we're going to just vamp and loop those four bars. So let's look at it, sort of deconstruct it again, what's going on here. You're going to play the middle four strings, is what I'm going to play on the B minor 7. And then again. That's out of time. Then the C sharp minor seven flat five, same set of strings, four adjacent strings. And then the F sharp seven flat 13, we're going to keep the ring, middle, and index on the second, third, fourth string. The thumb's going to break up from being adjacent and it's going to go down to the sixth string. So when you're doing this pattern, Usually you want to keep the three fingers on adjacent strings, but the thumb can move around to different strings. So that's what we'll do on the F sharp 7. There it is, back to B minor 7. All right, so let's go ahead and play those four bars. We'll play it several times. I'll have the metronome going at 60 beats a minute. 
And as I said, if you need to do this slower at first, that's totally fine. Pause the video, take some time to practice it slower, and then resume and let's go ahead and do it at 60 beats a minute. Two, three, four. Eventually you can speed that up and even play around with the rhythm. Sometimes I like to slow it down, speed it up, um, so you can eventually get it to this. And those 30 second notes, they happen so fast it almost sounds like everything's blending together, but the thing you gotta do is just learn it at a slow tempo first, make sure you got the correct fingering. As I said, it will work on a lot of different types of chords, different string sets, but first practice it with one chord at a time and then a simple progression like that. If you have any questions about that for me, uh, go ahead and write me a comment beneath the video. And of course, within my Fingerstyle Toolbox channel on Truefire, I've got the tab and notation. You can find the link beneath that, as well as some more videos where I show some cool variations of this technique. So I hope that you've learned something and thanks for watching.